Off. See, I knew it. I knew it. You're short. I'm so short. Oh, I'm sorry. We made the, the camera go based on Wendy and not me. So I hope people are going to be coming in here soon. Let's see how that is. We can always change it to show the counter. At least I won't feel weird. Like oh, we don't want to cut you out. Yeah, I'm good. I can always go like this. Yeah. All right. So nobody's here. Where's everybody? There you are. Hi. Maybe you, I got to come over here so I can read and tell me if you're here so that I can say hello and don't forget to give me a thumbs up so I only see one thumbs up. Bye, Welcome Constance Dunlap, Dunlap. She's the first to say hello. Who else is here? Karen is in the house. Karen Rothwell, ladies. Oh, Karen. Be ready. Karen's video of how to um, eat at Disney World is coming out. The one that we made together is coming out tomorrow on Patreon. Actually, it might even come out tonight on Patreon. So if you aren't a Patreon, go be a Patreon so you can see it first. All right, Amanda is here. Welcome. Trisha Coleman, hello. Jennifer Angus, Wendy Works. I missed you over in Florida. I was hoping you were going to come down, girl. All right, anybody else here? Anybody else? <gasps> Rosie Osales is here. Tammy Lovell, Mary Smythe, and Mary Jurgis. Hello. All right, that's all I'm saying. We're doing this thing. Okay. Okay, so Wendy is the chaffle queen, and I am the chaffle anti. <laughs> well, I like chaffles. I wouldn't call myself the chaffle queen, but that's very kind of you. I have seen you make a lot of chaffles. Uh, yeah, there's someone who does more than me. Okay, so Wendy is here um, visiting Utah. She does that occasionally. Sadly, her father-in-law passed, and they are here for a sad reason. But she still took time to come hang out with me today for our live chat to be fun. But you have to try chaffles. You, you know, it's not that I don't want to eat a chaffle. It's, a it's I don't want to make a chaffle. <laughs> They're not hard. I'm going to show you the basic. It's so easy. You just take an egg. And crack it into a bowl or whatever you have and mix it up. I mean, really, it can't be any easier than that. Well, I do sometimes do that when I'm making breakfast. <laughs> I, do, I admit that I do sometimes scramble the egg. Okay, and then we got our stuff over here, so hopefully you can see. So you can do like a half of a cup of mozzarella cheese for the whole egg, but I just eyeball it. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of cheese into the bottom of the dash. Mm. And then yeah, you pour half of the egg. Do not pour more than, unless you have a bigger maker. But if you have a dash, you can only do half or a whole week everywhere. So just pour half. Like that. Nice. And then put a little more cheese on top and then cook it. And I like them crispy, so I cook them for a while. So it's really that easy. So you just let it cook for a bit. Oh, and then when you want to, when you take them out, if you want to pull them, you put them on a uh, wire rack. Do you have like, like a cookie mm -hmm. rack? I do. Sorry, I told you I that part. Okay. Yeah, here they are. Cookie rack. Yes, there you go. have it. So we'll let it get on there. So I also got this, this bigger guy. So he's probably going to need more than one egg. So we'll go ahead and finish the other one, and then I'll yeah, I'll probably do like two eggs in him. So now you can try this one in a minute. She's gonna make so, me do it. So this yeah. is just your basic chaffle. It's cheese and eggs. That's what it's a waffle made out of cheese and eggs. That's literally it. And you know I eat cheese and eggs every day, and I fry my cheese every single day. I think it's just a habit thing for me, and that and I don't have a cute little mini waffle maker. Maybe somebody will buy me one sometime, like my husband. Oh wait. It's his birthday tomorrow. <gasps> I wonder if they sell them at Walmart. No, he would totally kill me if I just bought him a waffle maker for his birthday. But I have not bought him anything yet. That is okay. I have received vacuums for my birthday before. Uh, that ticks me off. I don't vacuum. And that would fix. See, she's a Roomba. She's was in my me. house. Okay, that might make me happy. I was still not very happy. Oh. Uh, one time Dave gave me a toilet seat for Christmas. My fat butt had broken it. So yeah, yeah, that was probably the worst gift he ever gave me. He's like, well, we needed one. And I'm like, for Christmas? Yeah. You couldn't just fix it as a gift? 
Yes. And look, honey, I fixed this else. for you. Yeah. yeah, it was a joke for a while. We gave each other a toilet seat a lot after that. <laughs> yeah, kind of love Dave. Pushy wands and stuff. Yep. Alright. Ooh, it's looking pretty. Yeah. This, I guess I didn't pour the full half, but that's alright. The next one will be a little puffier. So, but uh, you want it crispy? I will eat it however you make it. And you probably don't want to put butter on yours, because you're careful with fat. I can be not careful today. If you want to grab some, some <laughs> if you want to grab some butter. I do. How so you can make my cool traditional thing, and she's got her sugar-free syrup for us. I think I have any. So, um, do butter. Should we soften it? That might be easier to spread it. These are kind of like Eggo waffles. I've heard people call them Eggos, like Eggo Eggos. Oh yeah. Um, but they're surprisingly good. I hate eggs. If you watch my channel, you hear me say that all the time. But I hate right, eggs. Right, which is why I get why, you, I make, like why you make them because yeah. you it's a way for you to get eggs in that doesn't taste eggy as much. Protein. And me, I really love the eggs, especially my chicken eggs. All these this came from so my pretty. backyard birdies. These are, yeah. yeah here's this one too. Some of them are weird. This one makes me laugh. It's like all pointy at the end. I know. Yeah, they're just all different shapes. I love it. Okay. Colors. I like awesome. the blue ones. These are so pretty. So we're just doing what? Butter and sugar free syrup? Yeah. We're going to okay. start you out first. Oh, I guess we do need plates too. Oh, yeah, plates. Sorry. Plates would be good. This is a sparkling water. Yummy. Sounds good. So yeah, we'll, we'll call that one good and get it out. And I am drinking, if anyone is wondering, I am drinking ginger peach tea with some sucralose Splenda in it and some whipping cream. See, that's what it looks like. Super so cute. You can give it a shot. So I'm going to make the other one real quick and then I can do the better thing about it. Plates are wet. I think okay. my kid didn't dry them off well. It's all right. That's, you know, how Eloise does with the dish. <laughs> well, it, I'm just it, happy it, if they're clean. You know, she's nine now, huh? She is nine, and she does the dishes all, and she's the only one who does. She's the only one who does the dishes. I will wash pots and pans, but my nine-year-old does all the dishes for the whole family. Which, if you're wondering, is why I often use paper plates, because my nine-year-old does the dishes. I don't think you can complain about that. No, well, she's actually really pretty nice. She's actually really good at it. I have to admit, she's better than my 17-year-old ever was, and my 11-year-old had the job before for about a year, and my 9-year-old does a better job. Sorry, Virginia. She's probably listening. I don't know. You know what I'm with that kid? She's super quiet. You heard her earlier when she was like, she heard, she heard us. Yeah, you heard us talking about her. So I'm going to go ahead and do the, um, I'm actually going to do the uh, pumpkin chocolate chip one in the Belgian one. So I, I've never actually done it in the Belgian, so this is going to be um, kind of a crap shoot. But, <laughs> I don't know if I can say that, but you can say crap. Three eggs. It's fine. I don't know what's appropriate in one Well, no, and I don't even, swear if you want to swear, you can swear. I, I swear sometimes, if I don't swear on my channel, I do sometimes swear outside of my house as I'm getting very angry about my children. I generally don't swear at them, though. On our camping trip last weekend with Penny and Penny and those kids, yeah. I did say the D word in front of them. Oh. And they were very offended. Sorry. And I said, does it? I said, come on, you guys. Tell me your mom says the D word. And they looked at me, no. And then I felt real I, awesome. I try never to swear, too. If I swear, my kids know I'm very angry. I'm a terrible potty so, mouth sometimes. And then I tell them that yeah, look what they made me do. Like what kind of a <laughs> money you turn me into. Oh my gosh. So I'm, I'm not very nice sometimes. Uh, so this, I think this is the fourth cup of pumpkin. If you're making just one, one egg, you do an eighth of a cup. But I don't want to do too much pumpkin because it's got a lot of carbs in it. So we're just going to wing have it. a ton of carbs. I mean, yeah, it's not too bad. It's mostly Let's fiber. It's mostly so fiber. in a half a cup, it has seven net. So it has three and a half in here for that whole thing. That's, so that's what we're going to do. That's fine. Yeah. And then I've got some pumpkin pie spice. Mm. And um, this is perfect for fall, you guys. Pumpkin shovels. And it's actually cooled down the last couple of days. It's not been as hot. At least Which I is thought. weird because it's supposed to be like really hot this week, but it hasn't really no, been as much. It's been cold in the morning. Yeah. yeah. It's been nice. 
So you can use a, a measure or you can be like me and just put it in the middle of your hand. So that's about a teaspoon-ish. I don't know if you can see that. I'm not professional at all. I am. I'm not saying anything. I'll still eat it and pretend like I like it even if it's weird. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. She's going to pretend she likes it. I will probably like it. I mean, I love pumpkin okay. pie. Do so. you like those uh, pumpkin cookies with chocolate chips in them? Yeah, usually. I mean, they're not That's like, what it tastes like the most amazing things on the planet. But okay. I like pumpkin. Well, you so. might sort of like these then. I'll probably like it. It takes forever to mix this up. I don't know if you need to check if there's any... Yeah, I, I can know. see if there's anybody talking to us. Um, I can't really see it. Yeah, so far. Because it's far away, but I can come over here and say hi to, to a few more people for a oh, second. Because this is going to take Because she's going to mix that for like 40 yeah. years, apparently. So I let's see. Really is, yeah. Who else is here? Oh, thank you for the super trap. Super trap. Chat. Trisha. <laughs> I can talk. I really can. I promise. <laughs> Do you have a question to go along with it? I appreciate the donation. Thank you. Judy S., welcome. Rocio says, sorry for your loss. Thank you. Thank you very much. And she also says, sadly, I haven't tried a chaffle yet. What? <laughs> Karen says, chaffles are an awesome bread sub. Burgers yeah. on chaffles, chaffle ham and cheese, chaffle breakfast, yum, yum, yum. Um, Trisha Coleman says she just ordered a mini waffle maker so she can make oh. chaffles. She's a slow learner when it comes to cooking, so she'll probably be re researching this episode many times. And also, which which channel did you say? OK Keto? OK Keto. So Christy. Christy from she, OK so her, Keto her, with the O-H yeah. at the end. So it's Ohio, I think. Right? Her and her brother both do that channel, but she's the one who does the chocolates. Yeah. It's, yeah, OK Keto. K-E-T-O-H, -H, I think. I think so. Just look great. You she might even be here. Do some of this. It's possible. I'm just okay, so a little bit of swerve. swerve just to give it some sweetness. So nice. I have to wing it because I've never made this much. So yeah, so she just kind of okay. gets. <laughs> okay. Let's see. April Wooten says, glad to see the live. I've made chaffles a few times last week. I love them. Karen says, happy birthday, Chef Dave. And Dave says, I did give you a car that year. A car or a card? Car. Oh, well, that's kind of nice. I thought you said car. I was like, wow. Well, right. Yeah. <laughs> he, did, he gave me a minivan, an old used minivan, but it was a new car, so to yeah. us. And I did appreciate it. It's just that the seat just, it wrecked it for me because I'm a big baby. Well, I think it would have wrecked it for most women because, hello, I broke the toilet seat. Right. I'm sure he didn't think about that. It would make me feel fat, but, you know, doesn't everything make us feel fat? I think our husbands yeah. tried really hard. They do. And they just don't think the same as us. That's okay. Yep. I agree. Yeah. I agree. He's a wonderful man and we all know it. My husband thought the vacuum was a good idea. Yes. I have to vacuum. Right. Have. He has six very little children. And he's like, well, then you don't have to vacuum. It just vacuums for you. I'm like, thanks. <laughs> That's true, though. I mean, it does help you with your, with your work around the house. Okay. But it does remind you that you have so much work, right? Right. Um, Keto Kelly good. bought a Dash mini waffle maker. Good, good job, Keto Kelly. It's a long time no see, girly. Um, Amanda says, my husband once gave me a drill. <laughs> that's worse. <laughs> did, you, did you want the drill? That's... Did you, do you use drills? Because that's the kicker right there, right? If you actually use drills, then yeah. what happens? If he gave me one, I would be like, so you want me to be more handy? <laughs> Karen Rothwell says, kegos sound like kegels <laughs> to me. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, that's bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah probably we shouldn't do that. Chaffles. 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 Chaffles is good. Okay. Paleo Barbie does keto is here. Welcome. Yay. Hey, Yay. Teresa. Keto fat girl no more is here. And Red Till I'm Dead Smith is here. Hello, ladies, he says. <laughs> Sarah Powell says she got the Dash Waffle Maker on Amazon for $9.99. Nice. Yeah. Wilson Dungy is here. Hello. Donna Hatch is here. Hello. Um, she said, what's your channel name? Her channel name is her name, Wendy Barron, B-A-R-R-O-N. Super creative. Yep. But on Instagram, I'm Dozen Mama. So. Dozen Mama on Instagram, Wendy Barron with two R's on YouTube. Yeah. And of course, after this is over, I will go and link her channel in the about section below. So you guys will have that. Uh, let's see. It's Powdered Swerve, yes. It is Powdered Swerve, yep. 
the best kind for desserts. And I just used a plastic spoon, which I think is probably like a teaspoon. Yeah, it's pretty close yeah. to a teaspoon. And I'm going to put a little bit of mozzarella in this, and then I'm just going to pour some of the mixture in there and mozzarella again on top. And so you still use weird, cheese you still with use the pumpkin. It, you don't have to. Some people do almond flowers and things like that. I don't. But um, if you can't taste it, and it just keeps it from being stuck to the thing, and it gives it that crispy, crispy top. Yeah. So... And she's not putting a lot. It's like no, not even. It's hardly any. Like it's really not very much. Not even like probably a third of an ounce, maybe. It looks like to me like yeah, maybe. It's not very much. Maybe like ten grams of cheese. It's not a lot. Have you guys tried these? No. Walmart. What? They're like. You got these at my something? Walmart? Yeah. Yeah. They're like three something. You guys see that? Taste really close to Lily's. Um, chocolate, dark chocolate. So they are chocolate liqueur, inulin, which is okay to use, yeah, erythritol, which is okay to use, cocoa butter, sunflower lecithin, vanilla extract, and stevia leaf. Yeah. Great ingredients, and too. I'm just going to put some in on top of here. I need a little bit more because that's such a big thing. So nine total carbs, five fiber, which is n now four net, but there are three erythritol, so that's one net carb per serving, which is 15 grams. Yep. I think I'm gonna eat one of these right them, now. Because they're really good. Yeah. Yum. Yeah, like a dark chocolate lily. Yep. Right at Walmart. I did a little taste test mm. once. Of course, I accidentally deleted most of the video from oh, that shoot. Summit, an idiot. But um, yeah, they're pretty darn close, especially for the money. They're like a dollar fifty cheaper than lilies. Really? So. Oh my gosh. And so they're worth it. But yeah, that's our pumpkin chocolate chip one. We still have a little bit left, so I'm gonna go ahead and. Do another, another one, one here. Yeah, in the little guy. Here's the cheese. So, I don't know if you want to start buttering and serving. Oh, yeah, yeah. It and tell me what you think. Ruby, will you throw that away for me? Thanks. Right. Just pretend like you like it even if you don't. I think I will because I kind of like eggs and cheese a little bit. Okay. Are we using this for? Yeah, go for it. Because we can grab another different one. Okay. So, guys, don't don't judge me for not measuring right now because I just don't yeah, want to do. Oh, my goodness. I'm guessing I like. It was the chocolate chips, but it was the swerve. Okay. Oh, whoops. You put your fingers in it? Yeah. Ooh, powder! What do you need? Can I smell it? Oh, in the bathroom? Or over there? Wait, just go do it in the bathroom. She's like, where is the garbage? It's over on the other side. Oh, yeah. And this is the sugar free syrup I'm using Spring Tree. It has six total carbs and five sugar alcohols per serving, which is a whole quarter cup. So basically nothing. It's a lot. Yeah, you need a lot to get a lot of carbs. You would have to eat a lot. It would be kind of gross, actually. Yeah, I don't think I would need that much. A little bit goes a long way. And it tastes um, really good. Like, I even just put it on my regular eggs now, now that we tried the whole truffle cheese thing. I mean, I put cheese on my eggs to see what it tastes like. Yes, I noticed you that you've done that. Yeah, and I, it's just, I've done it a couple of times, but it just, I don't know, this is cooler. It is. I, I, I probably, probably will get it. It seems like it's thing. hard, but it's not. It really is like my eight-year-old makes them. It's easy. Yeah. So that's actually really good. Throw that in there. It's like better than when I did it because it's less dense. It's like puppy. Yes. That's mm. it's so weird. They Why is it puppy? I don't know. They literally turn it into like an angle waffle in it. How? How, do, how does this match? I wonder happen? if it's because of like how the heat moves through the egg quicker. Could be. And but like the egg bubbles don't have time to like it's so compress weird. like when you cook it in a pan. I don't know. That's pretty amazing though. I have to admit that tastes really good. <laughs> just yeah, butter yeah, yeah. and and I'm not just saying that. Sir, yeah, I'm not just saying that. The texture makes it worth it. Okay. Mm. I love them. Yeah. If I start doing chapels though, don't make fun of me guys. Because like I hate jumping on the What's popular bandwagon? I like to be the one that came up with the idea and it ticks me off. I didn't think of it. It's okay. You can help make them. Who more. did you think of it? Help make them more popular. I don't who know. thought of it? I don't know. I want to know. Originally, I don't Chaffle know. Ground Zero. Who knows who Chaffle Ground Zero is? I gotta know. Yeah. Because then I will talk about that person and tell them how amazing they are. They are amazing. You know, Melanie hates chaffles. Mm -hmm. I, she, she, I think she likes eating them, but she doesn't like people videoing them all the time. Yeah, because so I apologize to her. No, I think I... it's the same thing that like like what's everyone's doing. Like I don't want to do what everyone's doing. Mm -hmm. I think Melanie's a lot like me that way. 
But, I mean, Wendy was coming over, so why not? I should have to try them. They, and, and you, I mean, like you can make a sandwich out of them, so you can have. Yeah, that, I'm actually excited about that. And then you don't have to feel bad because it's egg and cheese. And if you right. can't have cheese, then I guess maybe you need to figure something else out. But if you can have cheese, I don't know why you're not eating them. Mm. And you can make I, them I in a regular I... waffle too, like a lot of people do. They just take the little corners like this. This is a big one. So. How much eggs did you use? Three? The, I did three, but there's still some left over. There's some in here, and there's still some in here. So I think two would probably be because that's the waffle maker I actually have. And two eggs oh. and two eggs and two ounces of cheese. You guys know two eggs and two ounces of cheese, but I eat every day. Exactly. So I do have a waffle maker, so you may actually see me doing that if I get brave enough. Okay, here's the big, huge Ooh. pumpkin chocolate chip, and we're gonna sprinkle some. Swerve on there. Do you want to sprinkle some on it? And we'll go ahead and finish this other one in here. Tell me what you think of that. It smells really good. It looks good. I'm going to let it cool off a minute. Maybe. I don't know. Should I? Does it matter? It might be nice if it's warm. Because it's, it's, it's kind of like a cookie almost. Well, I need another plate. Maybe I'll use that tomorrow. On. So. Alright, let's see. I am going to put some whipped cream on it because it's yeah. pumpkin, right? You should. So that's what it looks like right now, guys. I'm going to bring it up there so you guys can see better. It's cute, right? So cute. It smells so good. And I got my favorite sugar-free whipped cream from, great, from Walmart, Great Value Brand. Basically, it has zero carbs as long as you don't eat the entire thing. If you eat the entire thing, I don't know how many carbs it has. Probably some. <laughs> and it has 62 grams of fat for the whole thing. And don't ask me how I know that. I won't admit that I've eaten the whole thing multiple times. Sugar free. It's so what I'm going to say about it. Good. So good, but it is high in fat. This is my secret binge food. Um, sometimes if I'm having a hard time, I don't always film it. I'll have that with some sugar free jello at night. I admit it. I'm admitting sure, it to you guys because you guys are awesome to be here. Yeah. Go share it. Go share yeah. it with people. Just go share it with people and let us know what you think. Tell us if you think it tastes good. Oh yeah, if you want to come back and tell us what you think on yeah, the video, you can. That would be really good. She's passing it out to kids now. All right, here we go. Does it taste like chocolate chip pumpkin pie? Mm. I hope so. Mm. Not totally like pumpkin pie, but yeah, more like that cookie. Yeah, a little it, less sweet than pumpkin yeah, pie. It is. It's more like the cookie, and you probably would need to put a little more swerve to make it more dessertish. Yeah. I mean, I think so, it could use a little more swerve, maybe, but yeah, not bad. I get kind of weird about sugar-free stuff. I love it. I don't. I love I have all the sweetness. Kind of flavor. I just want. I just want the. Real Jasper's thing. like, I want one. Sorry, buddy. What? Oh, there's another one coming you can't have out. It. You can oh, have you it. Can't. Mm -mm. Cause of dairy. Dairy. Sadly, cheese. <gasps> oh my goodness. We what do you? What do you want? Them. Huh? Do you want us to cook you an egg there's with no cheese in the waffle them. maker? We totally can do that. What do you want? Just want a hug? You just want eggs? What kind of eggs? A peeling egg. Okay, I'll boil you some eggs in a minute, okay? okay? He loves peeling eggs, that's what we call them. So we'll just go ahead and make some more of the basic truffles so that we can do sandwiches. And I think we'll try it in Monte Cristo, so we're actually going to need a frying pan to fry up. After you make it, you fry it up in the pan. And this one, I, the Monte Cristo I got from Christy, from OK Keto. So. OK Keto. Yeah. I will try to remember to link her too. She's got, she's got all the recipes, really. Yeah, she's like really creative with her um, yeah. shovels. Yeah. I have seen one that looked like an Oreo that actually tempted me. Yeah, I've seen that too, but then someone said it didn't taste very good. So I think you huh. have to work on the filling. So I did ice cream sandwiches. Those on my channel too. Those are pretty good. Like with Rebel ice cream? I, well, I haven't used them like because we don't have Oh, we don't have Rebel out, so Colorado. Yeah. It might be not bad. It tastes better than Halo Top. And they have the one card per serving coming out. So Ooh, that's really okay. exciting. So I you guys already have that in your um, 
Harmons. Really? Uh huh. But we don't. As far as I've seen, I haven't seen it in Colorado yet. Mm -hmm. I guess we're slow. I don't. Well, I don't buy ice cream very often, especially right now, because you guys know I'm supposed to be keeping real oh. close track of what I'm eating, which I'm not right now. And I'm a bad keep my fat now. slow so that I can lose body fat, right? But the scale just keeps staying at 180, so it's really frustrating. You're doing amazing. Ah. Uh, I don't, I, don't feel, I don't feel amazing this summer. I feel stressed out. <laughs> Dog, don't even start. Dog, no. Okay. Did you like it? Come yes. tell us what you thought. Yes, it was a. Oh, you did you like it? Oh, oh. I'm glad you liked it. Hey, look, it. here's here. Find out if she liked it. What did you think? Tell us exactly what you thought. Did it need anything so. special? Was it weird in any way? The chocolate is a little bitter. So you were hoping it was more milk chocolatey. No, just oh, sweeter. Oh, they do have milk chocolate ones. So it's really, it's really good. Though. Really good. Awesome. Cool. They could use more chocolate chips, I think. Well. Cool. All right. Thanks. Bye. She's like, when do I get another one? <laughs> we're still making more. Yeah. Okay, so we're making more regular ones just with the mozzarella and the egg. Yeah. So she didn't even like put salt or anything in it. You can. You could. We you could, could probably put a lot of things in. If you put salt and pepper in it, it tastes better. But I didn't think it so, needed it really. Like it's. No. I don't know. But I, I mean, I do put salt and I actually put new salt on my eggs. And so, mm. so I usually make them really salty, and maybe that's my problem of not liking them with the cheese as much. Maybe I would like them more, less salty. Do you like new salt, the flavor of it? It's okay. Okay. It's just that's the only I way I can stand to eat weird. it. It does taste I put weird. it in my um, keterate. Soul. Yeah, I don't live with it that way. What I usually do if I'm going to take it, like along with my sole water, is I will, so I have my little container right here for my sole water, and I put my sole water in the top piece. And then I would add a gram of new salt and stir it in. And then I can't stand to drink it. So I put a squirt of uh, meal in it and then drink it straight like that. I don't know. It's kind of nasty. I, I don't know how you do that. You don't know how I just drink this straight anyway, right? No. Yeah. No, no, no. Sometimes it's painful. I have to admit. Sometimes it burns. <laughs> yeah. I always chase it with a drink, preferably Diet Coke or Coke Zero. <laughs> I, yeah, I can't even do that. Mm, this I tea really dilute mine in water, so. But I drink a lot more slowly than most people. I do too, though. I, I, take, I have like five to eight tablespoons a day. Yeah, I do about, actually do eight to ten okay. a day because I do. I usually do two tablespoons at a time, and I usually do at least four times a day. Sometimes I add a fifth if it's really hot or I'm exercising or I'm like out um, hiking or something like that. Yeah. That's true. So my average is eight. So people are always telling me like, I'm taking the four tablespoons of sole and I'm still miserable. And I'm like, you probably need more. I hate to tell you, but you probably need more. Yeah. That's true. Pretty much at eight has been my happy place for well over a year. And if yeah. I miss it, I know it. Like yesterday, I wasn't super great about getting them in. And this morning, sure enough, I woke up with weird chest pain feeling and crampy legs in one day. Wow. It's irritating. Though I could technically be having a bush, though the scale has not yet shown any sign of this. I'm so frustrated. You are doing good. <laughs> and I think it's amazing that you didn't gain weight on your trip. I can't That's believe amazing. it. Karen was a genius helping me figure out what to eat. I ate so good on that trip and stayed so keto. I'm excited. I'm halfway through editing the video. I'm hoping I'll get it get it up tonight for Patreon, and then it'll come out tomorrow night for you guys. But it might be tomorrow morning for Patreon, and then the next day for you guys, because I have crazy life. Because we have dance again, and I have to leave at three o'clock to go to dance, and that's in like two, three hours, three and a half hours. Yeah, and it'll take me probably another hour and a half to edit that video. Well, it's who's so excited about seeing Karen? I am. <laughs> she's so cute. I am. And she's on it. She's so She's, she's in the video. Totally love her. 
<laughs> she was a good sport about it. If you guys haven't seen the funny video where they made me test my ketones over on Princess Ninja and Keto, you should go watch it just for the funsies. She actually was not happy that I put her on that video in her pajamas. Well, she's so cute. Why she was totally so cute, and her pajamas were cute. Yeah. But she was like not happy. But <laughs> are you sure that all you were right, doing Karen? Was testing ketones? Because I'm. Everybody kept asking me if I was drunk, but no, I was just really tired. Yeah. And those girls, you know, like they, they get me all riled up and. And I was scared to test my ketones. I think that was part of it, is that I was kind of like flipping out and overreacting because I was afraid to prick my finger, which is silly, but. That's why? I think that's why I was overreacting, because I was freaking out. And then they had to do it like a million times because it would never like cut me. Oh my gosh, it was horrible. She's like, Karen's like, click, 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 and like nothing happens. Like, I can't take it anymore. You're lucky you're not diabetic. Oh, I know. That would be your life. I know. Yeah. I know. But I think after a while, you just kind of get used to it and, you know, know it. No. it you don't get used to it. I still it. still cringe. Every time, I kind of just brace myself every time. Oh, that's why I don't test it every single day. I kind of already know where my blood sugar is, and then I just... You've been doing this for, like, what, five four years, years? Four years? Yeah. Wow. That's, that's a long time for both of you. This guy looks kind of weird. He's cute on this side, and... A little on the creepy side over here. That's okay. We He'll can still make a good we can sandwich. put that on the sandwich side, right? Yeah. <laughs> right. So, do you want to make yourself a turkey sandwich? Like yeah. Let's do it. And then we can do a Monte Cristo in a little bit. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much time we have. Well, we've got at least an hour, and okay. we're at 30 minutes. Okay. So we can keep going for 30 minutes, or we can check in. We can always answer questions too, so we don't okay. have to go. Just so you guys know, you can do. Anything with these chocolates. I have done peanut butter and sugary jello. Mm -hmm. I have made a chicken club sandwich. Like I said, um, ice cream sandwiches. Okay. And really, the sky's the limit. People have done like garlic bread. I did a um, garlic and cheddar, uh, sharp cheddar one the other day. It tasted really good. I made an excellent sandwich. You can use any kind of cheese that you want, and you just need an egg and cheese. You can put any kind of mix in you want. People have been doing them with uh, cream cheese and everything but the bagel seasoning. That sounds so good. Yeah, really the sky's the limit. You just have to think it up. So, try them. If you have tried them already, what's your favorite way to do them? Just comment real quick and let us know. What's yeah, what's your favorite, favorite chaffle? Let's see who's commenting on that and then I'll go back up. Favorite chopple, favorite chopple. Nobody said anything yet. Come on, guys. You don't, don't have a favorite kind? <laughs> Karen's just talking about her PJs. Aha. <laughs> uh <-huh>. oh. <laughs> she said, <laughs> That's so funny. Karen says the Monte Cristo is yes. her favorite. It is. This one got butchered. This one's a good one for uh, <laughs> syrup. There you go. You I've never used this Belgian waffle maker before. It's the first time, so um, yeah. it's kind of a crapshoot. We'll just turn it off, maybe. Um, Nona Grace says she would make them and put egg salad in them. Ooh. Double up the egg is. Yes. Chicken salad would be fun, too. Chicken salad, That yes. would be fun. Thanks Good idea. idea. Yeah, yeah Nona. Nona. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and eat She's this. my Nona. I love her. Yeah, there really are some amazing people in the keto community. I don't have any mayo. Right here. Oh, you have mayo? I brought mayo. She brought mayo. Woo! -hoo. My mayo is not good. I'm sorry. Not sure what I have to. I don't use it very often. So. So I'm actually putting mayonnaise on this because it's got to taste like a turkey sandwich, right? Yes. All right. Let's do this. Yum yum. So if any of you guys are ever in Utah and you want to just come over and hang out with me, I'm all about the hanging out. I was I was kind of disappointed that the only people that came to our meetup were YouTubers. That they were the only ones brave enough. I know there were quite a few people thinking about coming who did not come. And I hope that that's not because they were worried about having to talk to me all that time. She's super easy, easy to talk to. Talk to. <laughs> I could keep talking forever. She'll do the work. You can just listen. <laughs> Ask Amanda from Our Life the Keto Way, because I think she only said like 15 words the entire time. 
She does not talk a lot, just so you know. But she's amazing. Okay. And apparently she loves Hide and Seek, our family channel too, because she brought my kids little presents. Aww. Which, by the way, they love if you're here, Amanda, or watching later. My girls have been wearing their necklaces every day since they got them. And Jasper was playing with his slime this morning. And even Xander and Sully put the little turtle paperweights on their desks. And they thought that they were great. The oldest boys, the 23 and 20 year old, liked their gifts. It was cute. It'll. I don't. I didn't show them opening theirs on the video that'll be coming out, but because they were downstairs, I think when we were doing it. But yeah. Anyway. Okay. So then some of the lettuce. Gotta have some green. Totally. I forgot tomato. Sorry. Oh, well, I do have some tomato. I guess no. I could cut one out. Feel like it. There's tomato right here. Uh, oh, yeah. Some right tomatoes. <laughs> yeah, they're hanging on the back of my pantry right there. But I think I'll just go ahead and try it like this. That see works. how it is. Oh, I want to put some salt on it. You don't have too many vegetables. <laughs> right? I don't eat that many. I get, totally criticized. I get criticized all the time for not eating vegetables. One of the things I've noticed is a little bit of vegetables go a long way on keto. Yeah. Um, sometimes I, I eat a ton of them and then sometimes I don't. So weird. I try. I just try to be intuitive about it. All right. So here it is, guys. Isn't that cutesy? Looks just like a. It holds just like a sandwich. Yeah. Which I guess that's so it, so it that's huge good. with keto. Anything that can put thing, you can put things in and hold and eat with your hands. Yeah. It's got to be said that that's amazing because there's very few things. The one thing about keto is that everything's kind of mushy and the same texture. So anytime you can have anything with a better texture mouthfeel or being able to hold it where you don't have to go and put in flowers and things like a carb like a low carb wrap i don't really like using those low carb wraps and so this is awesome i can't wait okay i'm going to taste it bye not bad no i'd even maybe put some cheese on that oh she's got cheese i have cheese yes i mean who can you can only have but right? No, I can have a lot of cheese. And the other day I made a BLT mm -hmm. and I um, got it so crispy that I even was like cutting my lips like a traditional BLT. The whole, wow. The whole <laughs> experience was just there. So it was awesome. felt like a real yes, was I was just deal. like, oh, no, this is not too shabby. Yum. That's really good. Oh, there goes my turkey. Okay, we're making them. We're gonna make the Monte Cristo next. Yep. We got one guy ready for it. All right, we can get a pan. Oh. Get it wrong. I think I'm going to do three, and if that was three, it's not four. I think it's three. 
Okay. They stick to each other, so hard to tell. And then turkey, we'll do three turkeys. And then Swiss cheese, right here. Thank you. Oh, and you know what usually I do? I totally forgot about this, but usually I warm up the meat and the cheese just a little bit in the microwave so that it cooks better. But we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna cook it in a little bit of butter. Don't freak out. I won't. Okay. We can and then use we're butter, gonna... it's okay. Yes, I know, but yours, she's careful and she's good. She's so good. She inspires me. I'm sure she inspires all of you too. And I just fully admitted that I sometimes eat an entire can of this by myself. That's a lot more than butter. See, I'd probably rather eat a cube of butter than that. <laughs> I love that stuff. I love that stuff. I like butter too, though. Yeah. Mm. I probably would like that if I tried it, but I, I don't know. I, I use heavy whipping cream and then add a rich or tall. But since I'm I not, do that too, but it's like not fast. No, it takes forever. That's fast. <laughs> I have nine kids. I'm all about what's stores, fast. It stores better. Mm -hmm. Because if you make homemade, you got to finish it off exactly. right away. So you have to make it every time. So we're just wait for the other guy and then we can finish this off but once the other guy's done we're going to put it on top we're going to just put I'll a little butter in the, the um, pan and then we're going to put it on both sides and we're going to sprinkle some um, of this powdered squirt on top wow it's decadent so it's like sweet and savory i don't yeah. think i've ever had a real monte cristo so i wasn't oh, exactly right. sure what oh, to expect okay. i really i was like oh jam raising jam so a real monte cristo okay. has like french toast as a bread <laughs> it's pretty good. I haven't had one for years and years. But I'm just separate separate channel away because it's so good, and I have. I'll just set this here. Yeah, she doesn't have. I, well, you haven't eaten either. Just, well, I just ate. I ate a whole pumpkin one. I have to drink. So did I. Talking. <laughs> or while you were talking, here's this guy. We'll let him cool off for a second. So if you don't let them cool off, they're going to be soggy, which is fine. But I like it crispy. I think it's gross. It's, it's really crispy. good crispy. So yeah. if that's the way you do it, that's yeah. good to know. So that's a tip. Cool yeah. it off before you put your dressing yeah. things on. You can prop it up on a fork like this on the counter if you don't have a cooling rack. I've done that when I'm really lazy and don't want to get it out. So that works. This one's going to be a baby one. <laughs> but it's all good. But these are easy. There's no excuse to not have one. That's true. And they're so Except if you like me and Mel and you like hate doing what everybody's doing. Well, I know. I really don't like to be trendy either, but, but these, these are, are too good. good. But these are really good. This surpasses that. Yeah, that I agree. Well, so. when it comes to what, when it comes to food and you want to be sustainable, if something is really good, you can't just turn away because it's hard to do this diet sometimes. You get tired of the yeah. same texture all the time. Anything that's crispy is worth doing. That's why I fry yes. my cheese. Everyone thinks it's so weird I fry my cheese. Well, it's this reason right here. Yeah, that's people, why. I do people, it. but people eat moon cheese and the wisps. So mm -hmm. no, it's not weird. People I know. Like it. And, and, yeah. and it, it does take probably less time than this. But you could like set this down and do other things in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And I like I tend to clean the kitchen while I'm cooking because that's the only time I'm ever actually in the kitchen. And I only cook for myself once a day. Well, That's how often my kitchen gets cleaned. Basically zero. It's all right. She came over, so I cleaned it. Be proud. <laughs> Your kids were telling me that was the oh, first yeah. time I came to the door. We cleaned Just the kitchen. Like, we mopped. We mopped the I'm floor like, for oh, you. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> so cute. That's how often we mop and the baby thinks that it's like a cool <laughs> thing. It doesn't matter how much you clean. It just never, it's just never looks clean no matter what you want it to be. Yeah. So and everything's it. falling apart. My sink is leaking. Like underneath, I have a bucket because my sink is leaking and I haven't replaced this stupid, uh, what do you call this thing? Sinkerator thing? Disposal? Oh, garbage disposal. Uh, it's leaking. Yeah. And like this is all ruined from the rain. I'm like, ah, it's just like whatever. Yeah. My, my, my counters are all peeling. Someday I'll fix okay. it, baby. And we have an old house that was built in like 1970s, so we have weirdness everywhere. In right. The house. Well, ours so ours we wasn't built in 70. I think it was 82. But well, the people that built enough. it were weird. There are so many like strange things that you're like, oh, huh? same here. Why? Where does what does this light switch work? Uh -huh. We there's still light switches in our house. We have no idea what they do. So it's weird. 
All right, so we're going over We're going to come over here and cook this guy up. All right, let's see. You can see the rest of my messy kitchen. See all my bacon grease, guys? I got bacon grease. Okay. I don't use it very often. <laughs> and one thing I'll say while we're waiting for this pan to heat up is you can make these ahead of time. And you can make these up ahead of time and freeze them. Uh, a lot of people just put them in the toaster. I put them in the toaster and they taste really great. Or some people just put them back in the waffle maker and heat them up that way. So you could like have a chocolate making bread. day and freeze them like a go waffles. Yeah. That's that I might that I might do. Yeah. I could do that because I could probably get Dave to make me a bunch of them. Yeah. And we could even like weigh out the cheese so I know exactly what's in them right. and all that. Because they really are healthy. They're you know well with little bit. I eat basically that every day. Like well yeah just two have eggs bacon. and two ounces of cheese is like my standard. Yeah. Put bacon on turn it. Turn it into a BLT and you're good to go. Right? So. Yummy. You want to see if people are saying anything? All right, let's see. Okay. Let's see. I probably have food in my teeth. I apologize in advance. But, you know, like I have braces. That's one of the reasons I don't eat on camera. Eat on camera. <laughs> Oh, or I mean, like, like, just not care. I just do whatever on there. Well, I do you not care about a lot of stuff, that's for sure. Probably other you things. Can have some more. If, if you're not allergic to anything in there, you're welcome to have more. All right. Let's These see. Ones are just plain, so it's just egg and cheese. She didn't spray the waffle iron, so she talked about that. She just, the cheese gives it enough fat, so it doesn't, it pops out yeah. if you make sure to put enough in. It just gets a little Amanda says she cheese. does use the drill now, that's but at the time she was like, uh, no, honey, that's no. Cool. I have a few things for you to drill at my house if you want to come home. Oliver just used our drill this morning, and it's over on my kitchen table, okay. which makes me laugh because there's a drill sitting there. Uh, let's see. Um, April Wooten says she's been married 29 years, and our first Christmas, my husband gave me a light for our kitchen because we needed one over the sink. Awesome. <laughs> Hope it was fancy. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it better have been pretty. Yeah. So Karen says you need to cook them longer than you think. They shouldn't be bendy when you lift them yes. from the side. Okay, okay, that's a good tip. Um, Sarah Powell, welcome. I'm glad you're here. This is her first live chat. Welcome. Hey. Uh, let's see. Oh, Karen says they had those chocolate chips at her um, Walmart, but she had too many errands to run, and she couldn't leave them in the car because they would melt, oh, so she didn't get any. Yeah. What's the brand name of that? Like Bake Believe or Bake? something. Bake Believe. Yeah. You can see that or not. And I keep mine in the fridge. You can keep them in the fridge or freezer, and they just last longer. You can just have that back. Ooh, you're going to give them to me. To oh, man, that's probably not a good idea. That and the whipping cream, I'll probably just put them all in a bowl and just eat. Yeah. Uh, you can take a handful of those as a nice little treat. I probably won't do that. Well, they're dark chocolate. I would think about doing it. Um, probably does, I bet. I bet they do. Mostly they do, but I don't know, maybe not. Oh, wow, they do not. Dog, seriously, stop. Lay down. She wants to cook, too. She just hates to be, like, not in the middle of things. There is no milk in this. So you want to try it? Here, come they on over. Have, they come over. Sugar, so. This is Virginia. She's allergic to milk Super and wheat. Girl. Poor girl. That's no fair. So she doesn't get chocolate very often. They are dark chocolate though and sugar free, so they might be a little bit bitter for you. They're good? Awesome. That's great. Cool. Woohoo! It's probably been a while since you've had chocolate. Uh, yeah, there's very few chocolates that are dairy free. Like there are some, but a girl on Instagram came up with them, but you forget who she was. Hmm, I know she should have had stock in the dash maker before. I know, huh? Or at least at the very least, some kind of affiliate link, right? Um, Karen Rothwell says she thinks it was Keto underscore Oki, O-K-I-E, on Instagram who originated them, but she's not 100% sure. Hmm. There's a lady that I follow on a group that she's getting credit, like, in the media. Oh, she really? Says she didn't, she's like, but she said she didn't do it. She just like, got just, credit? Yeah, she's like, I just was doing it. I forget what her name is. It's like Kat or something like that. Hmm. All right, let me move back over yeah, here. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. Sorry about that. That's okay. Oh, so I, I sprinkled some on the other side of the powdered swerve, and then now I'm going to just sprinkle some on here. Oh, she put way more than I did before. Yeah. I wasn't sure what sprinkle meant. This is how you sprinkle a Monte Cristo. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 
So we should it's show, It's going right? to be hot, so be careful, but yeah, it is. All right. So that's my favorite. Melty cheese. Powdered sugar on there. Oh, powdered sugar, but it looks like sugar, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, we're going to cut this in half. Oh, share it. Okay. I forgot about that truffle, so he's super crispy. But, as I can tell, not burnt. Yeah, it doesn't look burnt. Hey, cutie. What's he need? Want to try something over here? Do you want one, Ruby? They're just egg and cheese. Do you want one? Yeah, a little bit of meat. There's ones with chocolate chips in them, or there's these ones, this she, one that doesn't. She, did you like the pump one that had chocolate chips this in it? This is just egg and cheese. You don't want it? What have okay. I? Okay. Right. Well, I don't need a plate. I can just be rude. Are you sure? Yeah. Alright. I'm good with that. Being rude. How much, yeah. Is it rude to eat? I, to I eat on my channel all the time. And sometimes I've noticed I'm like chewing with my mouth open. So. <laughs> wow, I had very interesting. Mm -hmm. It kind of reminds me of like a, a turkey cranberry mm -hmm. sandwich, which I used to have a lot. That is a good description, yes. The mayonnaise yeah. almost tastes like cream cheese. You put cream cheese on this one, it would be really good. Yeah, and you can make them with cream cheese. Like the one I did for ice cream sandwich, you do cream cheese with cocoa powder and some sort of an egg. And, then, and you don't use regular cheese in that one, you just use cream cheese. It makes really good cheese. Yummy. Yeah. Dog, be quiet. Hey, dog, no. <laughs> she wants to eat. She wants to go eat my chickens because she knows I won't let her out unless I can wash her. She's been a bad girl. I think it smells too good for her. Maybe that's it. She can smell the meat and stuff. Are you hungry? Did you eat all your food? Is that your uh, problem? Yeah, she yeah she's hungry. Okay, well, you can feed her. Want to go feed her? Thank you. <laughs> the powdered squirt was really good. Yeah. Crud. I have never had that. Just, just forget about this. Remember this for the <laughs> holidays. This is how you do keto in the holidays. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that would be really good for it with cranberry. Uh -huh. mm, that would be so good with yeah. cranberry. That's probably the reason why I don't make mine with almond flour or coconut flour is just because yeah. I really have to be careful all the time and then I just let myself well, be a little Almond careful. flour has a lot of fat in it. It does, but a lot of carbs too. Mm -hmm. So, like, yeah, you just have to be careful. And you don't need it, honestly. I mean, we're not going to have waffles and stuff that taste exactly like it. Right. So go for the thing that's a little better for you, macro-wise. It gives you the same mouthfeel. Mm-hmm. Because with the syrup and the butter, I mean, I would have thought I was eating an egg waffle. Mm-hmm. It really does taste like a waffle. It's weird. Cool. It's the texture. Mm-hmm. Mm. She may have gotten me hooked on these. Dang it. Cool. <laughs> this is cool. I'm like, no! Mission accomplished. <laughs> mm. That's what I told her. I was like, I, no, I, I just want to give a chocolate. She was reluctant. But then she listened to me. They're good. She's like, can I come over and make you some? Because I wouldn't make any. <laughs> I'm like, you're going to cook for me? I will take it. I got her her weak spot. I hate cooking so much. I hate cooking almost as much as I hate cleaning. You'll see that because I cleaned so that she could come over. <laughs> There's a reason I do my videos in my bedroom with my headboard only showing. You because the rest of my house is falling apart. You have a cute house. I love my house. It has a Victorian feel to it. Yeah, in fact, it was funny because when we were moving here, I actually asked the, I jokingly said, I would love it if you could find us a fixer upper Victorian on an acre in the south end of the valley. Ha ha ha, we know that it, you know that we can afford. There, it, it didn't exist. I mean, it was a miracle. Like, this place is falling apart, but it's livable. It's not like uninhabitable. And guess what? When you bought this house, I was jealous of you. Oh, <laughs> really? Yes. You had such a nice house. Well, when you were in Harriman, you had no big house. I love, I love the look of your home. Yeah, it's just, it does make me smile. It just, it's like one of those warm Christmas party type of homes. Exactly, which is why I don't ever want to move. But they are talking about putting in businesses, like on the frontage. Mm -hmm. And if they do that, we may eventually move. But that'll probably be years and years away, hopefully. One would hope. All right. I don't think they'll let that happen here, will they? 
They, because that was the biggest fight with our recent election. Oh, no. Because they opened the other side of the road to smaller housing oh, and okay. the people that believe in smaller housing. Yeah. And there's more of them than there are of us. Well, there you go. Yeah. All right. We love them anyway. Okay. So let's see. We've got a few more minutes if there's any questions. So if you have any burning questions about keto, you, now's your time. I'm going to try and run through as quick as I can. Uh, let's see. Nassim Keto Mama knows who invented them. Okay, I will ask oh, yeah, Nassim. Oh, she's not here. Rosio said. Rosio says. Rosio Salas says Nassim knows who invented them. Okay. And Karen linked OK Keto's channel here. Thank you. Nona says she's been making these for a year. Nona, you're the original. See, she she probably just thought they were just her food, and she didn't think to talk about it. Right? They're so good. So whoever it is is only on Insta. Doesn't have a channel. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So let's see. <laughs> Karen says we were not drunk, just having a great time. <laughs> well, I don't drink. That. I don't yeah. drink. I know you don't. So but I can that. attest to the fact that neither of them drank at dinner. We were not drunk. I but just have we were just drunk on. Hilarious. We were just drunk on fun, sweet. drunk on each other, drunk on hanging out with people that were awesome. Me and Karen are like so weirdly twins, okay? She was born the day before me, literally. Wow. And we were both raised in the same religion, so she kind of understands where I'm coming from. And like when we were having conversations with Melanie, we would be talking, well, Melanie would say something, and then Karen and I would both say the exact same thing mm -hmm. at the same time. Yeah, I've got food in my teeth, sorry guys. That's why I don't eat on channel. No one cares. I don't know. They some of them probably care. They're probably like, oh, stop your Okay, anyway. All right, let's see. Is Amanda here? That's funny. Losing Dre, I was hope to see hoping to see you down in uh, Orlando. She didn't come. And yes, Keto Grace, I really, really, really do want to meet you. Um, I could probably do Labor Day Monday. We don't have any plans. She's here in, uh, She's in Spanish, Spanish Fork. That's cool. Yeah, it's not far. Yeah. Like, that's an next hour. Next time I come here, we can do a meetup. Yeah, let's do that. The next time Wendy that's comes, we'll... Conference weekend. In conference October. weekend in October, so... In October. Are you free that first weekend in October? And Nicole and Aquina, if you are also around and you see this later, let us know. Oh, Amanda is here. She says Hello, she has anxiety. Amanda. Oh, you're so sweet. Girl, I have anxiety too. I've been fighting it. I fought it all day yesterday. In fact, my depression has gone weighing down on keto, but my anxiety is more noticeable because I didn't know I had it before. And now the depression is kind of gone. The anxiety is kind of scaring me. And I have several kids who struggle at, with anxiety. So I understand. I'm just good at like pushing myself through it. I don't know how I do it. It's, it must not be debilitating because I can force myself to do stuff. But it's still fight it every day. It sucks. All right, let's see. Karen says she's still looking for a jelly without maltodextrin. I've never even looked you for a jelly. You gotta make it yourself. I have a link. You on gotta the make channel. it. It's so she, super easy. So Wendy Barron has a, has a recipe over on her channel for that jelly that she made, and she said it was really good. Yeah, you can use any berry. I just see. It. She says I totally climbed up at the meetup and I almost didn't Aww. go. Aww. I'm so glad you came. It was the best. Aww. The worst part about having a meetup is that people don't come. Yeah, the one we did in Denver was pretty small. Yeah, and this one was just as small. There was, oh, was it? well, oh, when yeah. it was only well, YouTubers, Melanie came, and then and Bonsai then, Keto, uh -huh. um, both of them came, yeah. and Amanda came, and then Karen and me, and that was it. So it was nice That's though, because so that is a good group for a dinner table people. combo, and I didn't feel like I was leaving anyone out, whereas with Denver, I actually felt like well, I was leaving had, people out because the way table. the table was. Yeah. I couldn't talk to everybody. I don't know why they sat us there. That was so ridiculous. They didn't have any other tables there, I guess. I guess. That are big enough. I don't know. It was dumb. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Ooh, you make your fried cheese in the air fryer. I'm actually thinking... Oh, Dave's probably here. Never mind. Oh, no, he probably knows. I would like to have an air fryer myself. I want to make wings. <clears throat> Colin Chuffles? Chuffles? I don't know. Okay, let's see. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Losing Dre says my Walmart is now carrying Lakanto products. So, so is your Walmart. Really? Yeah. I love that monk fruit stuff. So, woohoo, that's awesome. If it's not Walmart, it's uh, Harmons. 
I've been to both the last couple of days. Awesome. I haven't, I, as you can see, I haven't shopped in a long time. We haven't had money for shopping since I went to Florida and spent it all. <laughs> Dave was nice. He sent me their, he sent me their money that they had, that they had. I didn't know, but he, he sent me the money and I spent it. He shouldn't have sent it. Ooh, pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice pecan. pecan. That's you know, a good idea. I made a pumpkin spice with the white chips that's from Bake Believe. It's good. The only problem is the white chips are kind of weird. They they fry up weird or mm. heat up weird. So that would be good if you would sprinkle them on top of a pecan one. Ooh, yummy. That's a good idea. See, she's so good at this. Wow. It's a good thing you have a channel. Yeah, and I really like making the 90 second bread, but I don't because of the high calories, and these are not high calories. So this is no. like great, and great, I, great. I hate 90 second bread. No offense to everybody who likes it, but I think it's gross. Oh, she's in Canab. See, she's oh, further she's than Canab. I thought. Oh, yeah. But we could, still, we could still figure it out. Yeah, if you want to come up in October, I'm going to have to look, check out your channel. But um, she, I don't think she has a channel. You don't have a channel? No, I think she's just a cool person. Am I right, Keto Grace? I don't know. I think she has a channel. I don't know. Here's a funny oh, story. Oh, losing Dre says she's in Ground Zero for 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 Chan cakes. <laughs> That's actually what I've been doing. I've been taking the eggs and mixing them up, putting them in, and then putting the cheese on top and on bottom, and kind of making a pancake out of it. It's not as good as this, just so you know. This is how I make my keto pancakes. It's just cream cheese, egg. A little bit of baking powder and some cinnamon. Yeah. It's pretty decent. Yeah, totally fine. They it's can like, see, don't see they me. They can yeah. see half of my face. That's all right. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, she says she's too shy. Well, Amanda from Our Life Keto Way is shy as well, and she still does a channel. She does. You know, it's awkward. She actually at first. does it to to. She said she did it to like get herself to talk more and like be more open. It also helps with accountability for me. That's why I do it. Accountability is huge. Uh -huh. Like you guys keep me in line. Like sometimes I'm like. I really, really, really wish that I didn't have to post my weights every single week on this channel. But then, it, you guys love it those helps. videos. You love the videos. It, helps to have people it does help. Supporting. It does help. So, yeah. but I'm still 180. Still, so annoying. Ooh, sugar-free. Gloria S says sugar-free jam by Nature's Hollow has xylitol and erythritol. Okay. Very tasty. Nice. Okay. So Nutrition sells that. I don't know where Nutrition is. It's probably a website. Yeah. Nice. Sugar-free jam by Nature's yeah. Hollow. Xylitol is not my go-to, but it's better than maltodextrin yeah. <laughs> by a large margin. All right, guys. Well, we're going to say goodbye. We want to sit and chat just by ourselves, you know, for a little while before they have to go. So yeah. and I got to go, like, brush my teeth because it's driving me crazy. I don't think <laughs> how much time longer I can talk without being panicked over it. But I love you all so much, and thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned some stuff about chaffles. Don't forget to check out Wendy's channel Thank you. don't forget to join patreon because the video is coming out Walt Disney video is coming out probably tonight maybe tomorrow morning on patreon and we'll talk to y'all again soon bye see ya